Um, doing something a little bit different. This is uh, an instructional on trimming big rocket glide boost gliders. Well, rocket gliders too. Um, as airplane as you can tell, it's it's a little larger. Hand throwing it, eh, it's kind of awkward. Um, so what I'm going to show you is a way to get around that for uh, for trimming because you always want you want this thing pretty well trimmed. You want to know what it's going to do before you launch it. Especially this one. This is depowered. I mean, it's five dollars every time you push the button. You want it to perform. So what I've got is you see right here, I've got a um, I've got a hook. Now, I've mounted this pretty far back. I mean, understandably, it's a canard, so that's way ahead of the CG. The CG is ah, trying to do this one-handed. Um, the CG is right about, right about there. So you see, I'm, you know, several inches, uh, about four or five inches ahead of that. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do, I've got a, a piece of rubber. It's a pretty long one. Um, let me string this over here. I've just tied it off to something solid. Um, so, let me pull this out here. It's a loop of one-eighth, and, uh... This is an old 1.8 too, so it's not super strong stuff. You can see this is about the relaxed length of it. It's about uh, it's about seven feet. I mean, it's a pretty good size. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to catapult this off of it. So let's see if we can do this. Um, we'll hook this guy on here. Um, we're going to pull it back a ways. That's be a little on the. This is a little on the awkward side because this is a canard. See, I'm holding it down here like so. Um, this airplane, I've got it trimmed out. Hopefully, it'll, it's, so it goes to the left. You can see it's. Um, so I'm going to tilt it to the right here, and away it goes, and pops into a glide up there. You can see we're we're floating along all pretty light here. Uh, that's much better than it was before, by the way. It went in a straight line last time, and poop. So anyway. It's just a, a trimming tip for you, a way to trim big gliders. Um, takes a little bit of work, I mean, and you got to be careful because you can crash it. I mean, you want to make sure that that hook doesn't, you don't want it too far forward because you want it to clear that post. Um, that, that's very important. You want it to clear that post or you're going to plaster your plane. So take this with caution. Don't pull it back that far the first time. Um, I've done this about five, six times with that airplane, so I, I know, know what it's going to do. But anyway, um, hope that helps. If you've got any other thoughts, put them down below. Yes, I know about high starts, so don't tell me about high starts down below. I'm, I'm, I've used high starts. Um, this is a different kind of an aircraft. Uh, so anyway, talk to you all later. Bye. Oh, there's Caleb with the plane. No, we're not going to catapult that one. Ooh, maybe. <laughs>